Greetings vendors, Mike here with 720 Vending. Today we are going to go over how I set up my e-port on my Super Mini Claw Machine. Watch all the way to the end. Enjoy the show. Greetings everyone. Today I'm going to be going over the e-port setup I did on my Super Mini Crane. I placed the telemeter down here in the lower box and routed the wires up through the access hole uh, for the bill validator. The telemeter uh, does require its own power, which is pulled from the power supply of the Super Mini. The steel plate for credit card mounting is included with the Super Mini. And I just attached the card reader swipe to the front of that. Inside here in the back, you see the wires coming up from the lower left corner down there in the bottom. That uh, connector harness there has a series of wires coming off of it. The green and the orange wire go to the brown wire coming from the bill validator. And the white wire goes to the black wire coming from the bill validator. That is your pulse connection. Then over here on the right hand side of the power supply, you have two connections you have to make. One is on the V1 positive, which is the 24 volts for the red. And the, the black wire next to it is the V1 negative. That's the 24 volts ground for the E port to have power. The blue and the purple wires will go to the 12 volt positive coming off of the power supply. Once you have those connected, um, you'll connect the pulse kit to the E port and you can close up shop. The wires are routed through the machine. They are pre-made wiring holes for when you have a NIAX reader in that same spot. And what I did was I mounted one of the e-port antennas inside the coin box area. And then the other one goes is inside the prize area. As you'll see here, they dig down to it. See, it's in the lower corner down there. You have to have at least six inches of space between those two antennas. And I figured put it down there where it can't be won or tampered with. And you're on your way. And then you'll see how I, and then you'll see the, you press the complete button to select your plays. I have it set for one dollar, three dollar, five dollars, and ten dollars. But I didn't notice it didn't go through all the cycles there. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it on the website. So you'll go to your Seed Live page, and you'll go to device on your home page. You'll go to devices. And if you don't have it configured to a region already, it'll be under no region when you click on your account. Some in this page can take a little bit to load. So what in the, you'll do in this page is you'll select your region or your area where you have it installed. You'll give it the name, the address, where it is in the building, amusement type, um, asset number for the machine, all the information you normally would when you set up your ePort card readers. This is all a pretty standard screen. What we do now is we go down to device configuration and you're going to change the VMC type from zero standard MDB to number three coin pulse. I also set the two tier pricing for 10 cents. And I did change the attract message to select value. That way people can see on the screen that they need to select a value before they can swipe their card. Down here is where you set all of the coin prices. So I have it set for $1, $3, $5, and $10. You get bonus plays after you hit the fifth, when you, so when you pay $5 in there, is how I have it set up on mine. So every $5 you get a bonus play. 
And then when you're done, you're gonna come all the way down here. Everything else stays standard. You leave it with their defaults. And then you're gonna come down to the bottom and you're gonna click save and send. Once you do that, in about five to 10 minutes, your card reader will reboot. It'll receive its update and you'll be good to go. Like and follow for more. Have a great day, everyone.